I've always wondered, is artificial intelligence, also known as AI, ever going to take my future job before I even get to my first day in the office? When I first heard of TEDx Youth at EB, I immediately wanted to talk about AI. I want to understand the implications of, of this technology. I want to ask a question that millions of people ask themselves every single day. Will I be competing with AI to keep my job? A little over a year ago, much of the world experienced a monumental moment that fundamentally reshaped both our hopes for AI and our fears about AI. A startup in San Francisco released a language chatbot called ChatGPT. For the first time ever, you could interactively talk with a computer through text in a way that was scarily similar to texting back and forth with a friend. We all experienced it, right? It was an incredible moment. The history of AI focuses on creating intelligence, like humans, with machines. Its history dates back to the 1950s, when a group of researchers started exploring the idea of thinking machines. Ever since, AI has made advancements through booms and busts across areas like machine learning and computer vision. It's breathtaking, the way AI has grown in the last 80 years, and it will undoubtedly continue to reshape our world in the decades to come. Take ChatGPT that I mentioned earlier. You ask the system for a prompt written in human readable language, and it takes the text and answers it with a whole paragraph of seemingly thoughtful response. You can also work with an AI artist where you can use language to describe an image, a picture, or give it an image to improve. And it's stunning how it creates art ranging from itself an impressionist painting to a high resolution photo based on what you asked it in a couple of minutes. The breakthrough in AI was when computer scientists taught computers how to imitate a neural network, a human-like ability to generalize text. They did this by teaching it how to correct speech. For example, how Siri or autocorrect can predict what you're going to say or write. In fact, computer scientists have been stunned at how fast neural networks have been mastering languages. Now that AI can learn from content online or questions we ask it, it can help us better and better with pretty much anything from visual perception, decision making, speech recognition, translating languages, and content creation. Maybe that's something we should ask ourselves at a, at a multilingual immersion school. Should we really take the time to be fully bilingual if AI can translate it for us? <laughs> with all of these powerful capabilities, should we be more hopeful, should we be more scared of AI than hopeful? I was initially fearful about AI because of its ways to work faster and better than most of, most of us humans. However, when I thought of it for a while, that fear can be turned right around and become an opportunity. AI's vast capabilities and speed can help us better and better and save us so much time. You just need to know how to use it. So in the end, the question is not will AI take over jobs, it's when will AI take over jobs. And are these jobs the type of jobs we humans should be doing anyways? A recent study concluded that for the past 100 years, commentators have said every single year that AI will take over jobs. However, a century later, humans are employed and our human unemployment rate in the US is at an all-time low. Maybe the real question is, how can we give the right jobs to AI so humans can focus on what they're uniquely capable of? For example, jobs that involve social interactions or emotional interactions. AI has a lot of good and positive things that we should be excited about. Yes, AI may take over jobs. However, that doesn't mean that it won't create new jobs. A recent study, a study predicts that 86% of jobs that soon will have in the future don't currently exist. That means that if this is true, AI will create new jobs for us students to have in the future. My recommendation for you is not to be scared of AI, but to be aware of it. Read the news daily or talk to it with a friend or family member to stay up to date. Thank you.